Kenan, one of his cousins, more handsome than I can. <laughs> and we'll see their talents right now. Good night, Kenan. Good night. Good night, Kenan. All you will come to our workshop. Uh, he is the best in the younger generation, one of the most talented members in our family. Now, he will make uh, one of the most difficult shapes for us. As you know, this part, uh, since Hittite period, it passed father to son. In the Hittite's time, uh, Hittite people lived thousands of different gods. And they create really interesting shapes for serving uh, wine to their guests. And they shape really interesting forms, which it looks like to the goddess. Now he's making one of that. It's going to be like this. This, this form looks really modern, but 4,000 years old. Really hard to believe that. And the original of this shape is playing in Ankara now, Anatolian Civilization Museum. Uh, in the Hittite's time, uh, before the ceremonies, they fill it with red wine. And then uh, they add little uh, spice into that, like clove. And then they keep, keep it at the outside, on a little high place. When the sun set, lights pass through from this hole and make the wine special. It blesses the wine. They believe if they drink that sacred wine, uh, all the sunlight goes into their body and brings health. Still we believe that, I think. Yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. For serving, we have three different ways. One is on the wrist like this. For your friends, for your guests, you can serve the wine. And you can drink as much as you want, because even you're drunk, you can't drop the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the second technique is for the uh, special guests. Oh. If you would oh. like to show some respect, you can serve the wine. Oh. As you can see. Uh, third technique is my technique. You can use it also directly from me. <laughs> <laughs> As I told you before, this is the most difficult shape. Just a uh, few artists can make this shape in, in our family uh, because just experience is not enough. Uh, you need very talented fingers also because of this circle here. Uh, there must be enough space to hold the liquid inside, of course. And making these forms like the spout, handle, uh, base uh, must fit each other perfectly because he's not measuring just by eyes and uh, just feeling. He made the spout and he's shaping the base now. He will continue with the handle of it. Finally, the circle part. In the town, in Avonos, uh, it's a family tradition. Um, when the child's like seven, eight years old, they start to walk next to their parents. So when we are 30, 32 years old, we already have 20 years experience. Of course, in the families, we have some less talented members. <laughs> <laughs> they learn English and other things. <laughs> Unfortunately. Somebody has to do this also. <laughs> Something for everyone. That looks so easy. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh very easy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that is so magical. You can see our guest works on the wall over here. How long has he been? He has almost 20 years' experience. As I told you before, the thickness is very important. That's why he's making it thinner. Oh. Like a chocolate fountain. Oh, yes. So this part is very important. He has to be very carefully. Oh, perfect oh. <laughs> Looks so simple. Right? Oh, I know. I just. Uh, for
for the productions, we use two kinds of clay. One is red, like he's using now. Another one is white clay. You can see the examples on the wall over here. After we prepare the mud, artists give some different shapes to that. Uh, mostly on the wheels, of course. And we use electrical ones while we are producing. This sort of kick wheels used just for demonstrations. Sometimes uh, they would like to create new things. They prefer to work on the kick wheels because um, they can control the speed better. So you can see the hole inside. Now he's attaching the pieces to each other. And normally for this process, uh, we wait one day because it's too soft now, it's too wet now. Just for demonstration, he's attaching. After we shape the mud, we keep the products in the drying rooms for about 15 days. Uh, of course, it depends on the size. If it's bigger, it stays longer. Uh, while drying, almost 10% shrinks. That's why we have to be very carefully. We cover it with plastics uh, or something like that to not uh, dry so fast. Otherwise, it shrinks too fast and they're broken from the attached parts very easily. We lose almost 35-40% while drying. If they dry perfectly, by using sandpaper, we polish them uh, to make a very smooth surface and then we can fire them in the kilns for 8 hours in 950 degrees Celsius. After firing, we can apply the design to it. We just made the handle. For the red clay works, uh, mostly we leave it natural. We don't paint it, we don't glaze it. Sometimes we draw some designs on it because of the background color. Something like that designs you can see on the shelf. Height designs we apply. But the white clay <coughs> ones are all painted. It's like a white paper. Yes, that's all. Wow. This is my work, that's his work. <laughs> As I told you before, the uh, middle part, the circle part, is very important. There yeah. must be enough space to hold the wine in it. Now he's going to cut it in half for us, and we will see the inside of the circle. Also. Yes. As you can see, <laughs> the interior circle and the outer circle has same thickness. Yes. And there is enough space to hold the wine in it. Yes. In five minutes like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And it's half price now. <laughs> okay, anybody wants to try? Oh, okay. <laughs>